Stephanie Bannister is still topping the list for the biggest political gaffe of the week. I don't oppose Islam as a country. Um, but I do feel that their laws should not be welcome here in Australia. But after going viral in Australia, she's now fronting headlines internationally, being labelled Australia's very own Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin, the former governor of Alaska, became the butt of endless jokes, particularly during the 2008 presidential election, after some disastrous interviews. What insight into Russian actions, particularly in the last couple of weeks, does the, does the proximity of the state give you? They're our next door neighbors, and you can actually see Russia from land here in Alaska. The One Nation Party just can't believe the attention Mrs. Bannister is receiving. I think it's disgraceful and unfair the way she's been targeted. The fact that it's now gone international is um, also uh, a little bit over the odds. Let's face it, you know, Australian politics can't be that interesting unless there's no news anywhere else. But unlike Liberal candidate James Diaz, who's been dragged in for media training after he learnt the hard way about being unprepared, Mr Evans says the party doesn't believe Mrs Bannister needs any media coaching. But she doesn't profess to be a political animal versed in the ways of politics or media. She is simply an ordinary Australian who's put her hand up to try and make a difference to the way we are governed. From now on, a spokesperson will accompany Mrs Bannister to any future interviews. Well, the intention is to have a party person alongside of her to uh, help boost her confidence in, given the furore that's occurred, simply because she is, has made a statement which has been misconstrued.